as much as I want to be excited about new Chronicles of Narnia movies, Greta Gerwig really isn't the right director to handle this adaptation. A few weeks ago, I made some predictions about what I thought would happen with this year's films based on children's books. This encouraged listener Sam to write in and ask me what I thought about the upcoming Chronicles of Narnia films that'll be released on Netflix. It's hard to say much at this point because the films are only in pre-production, but there's one thing that makes me a little bit nervous, and that's the appointment of Greta Gerwig as director for at least the first two films. Gerwig makes movies that are very beautiful to look at, but she's proven twice now that if she's handed a property that's for children, she's going to make a movie that's for adults. Her version of Little Women looked great. The costumes were lovely, and the scenes were nicely composed and beautifully lit. But it heavily injected 21st century politics into the story, and Amy's icy girl boss speech to Laurie was a complete betrayal of the character. As is usual in on-screen adaptations of Little Women, all of Joe's rough edges were smoothed right off, and 12-year-old Amy was played by a woman in her 20s which makes her come across as a lunatic adult instead of a perfectly normal child. The movie had very little to offer to children and fundamentally misunderstood several important themes and characters. When I first saw previews for Barbie, I thought, gosh, this looks like a lot of fun. I looked forward to taking my nine-year-old to the movies and enjoying a great family adventure together. I could feel nostalgia for when I played with Barbies and my daughter could have her imagination open to new adventures with her own dolls except that it turned out to be a PG-13 film for grown-ups that showed children's toys making jokes about genitals. After the really fun and visually gorgeous opening scenes, the story became an incoherent mess building up to a rant from a side character that just listed all the things that make it tough to be a woman. These things had nothing to do with the plot or characters or anything that had been going on in the movie, so it was very weird and forced and awkward. This was really annoying because all of the problems in that speech are things that women have to deal with, but I hadn't seen the character in the movie dealing with them. And if anything, I think that means people will take these issues less seriously. So this is the person being handed the keys to the Kingdom of Narnia. I doubt Netflix and Greta Gerwig will be able to understand how to work with the symbolism that C.S. Lewis wrote into his epic fantasy series, or even its basic plot and characters. It's possible to approach books written 80 years ago with a thoughtful feminist perspective, but that ain't Gerwig's style. She's as subtle as a sledgehammer and can only write and direct films with really simplistic messages. I'm being a bit sarcastic, but I'm probably not that far off when I say that if Greta Gerwig writes the script for The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe, she'll remove any reference to Peter being High King. She'll also give Susan and Lucy girl boss speeches where they tell off Father Christmas and Aslan for saying that they will not take part in the brutal battle at the end of the book. Nope, the girls will be right there. They'll kill even more monsters than the boys do, and they'll be better at it. Gerwig will also make the White Witch like a sympathetic villain who was wronged by Aslan at some point in the past or something like that. C.S. Lewis wrote The Chronicles of Narnia as an allegory of Christianity. He did such a good job with that allegory that you can enjoy the heck out of him whether or not you're Christian or care about allegories. But the bottom line is that he did write them the way he did for specific reasons. Movie makers see that they can make money off these popular books, but if they don't respect the basics of the plot, character, and themes, fans will be annoyed. Viewers are voting with their wallets, and if they see that their favorite story is being mangled in the Hollywood machine, they won't watch it. I hope I'm wrong. I hope these movies are excellent. I hope they're a lot of fun and that they lead an entire new generation of children to discover the Chronicles of Narnia. If I find out that Greta Gerwig is only directing and not actually doing any script writing for these new Narnia films, I'll feel a bit more optimistic. But for now, I suspect that these adaptations will make a lot of changes to the books, downplay their original symbolism, and focus on the action elements of the story with some really tedious girl boss tropes thrown in for good measure. But what do you think? Are you excited about the new Narnia adaptations? Which older adaptations are your favorite? Let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.